the development of oscilloscopes. Let's start with electricity and magnetism. As early as 600 and O. Domini, an ancient Greek scholar, he found that rubbing the cloth against the amber can absorb small items. This phenomenon later, this phenomenon is called electrostatics, can often be used in daily life. Seeing this phenomenon, later in 1786, an Italian scientist Galvani found a metal scalpel. When you touch the frog's thigh sciatic nerve, the frog's legs twitch. This also created the first device to test electricity, a frog leg galvanometer. Its structure is a bit uncomfortable. Remove the frog legs and peel off the skin. Use wire to connect the frog's nerves and legs, establishing a connection. Then put the legs into a glass test tube. This device is very sensitive, but it is cruel to make and troublesome to maintain. More importantly, it can also only detect detect the presence of current to explore the electric. In 1820, the first galvanometer, made of electromechanical devices, was invented. Early multimeters. This is a derivative of. It doesn't have many internal components. Manually rotate the rotor during measurement. Measuring contacts, the surrounding current or voltage, all need to be done manually. This is not only time-consuming and tedious, and it's pretty imprecise. So, in 1902, a French engineer was lazy. He based on the original device. Add a pen and a self-rolling cylinder. Galvanometer drive pen. Slide the paper on the roller surface. Rolling drum. You can draw the signal waveform. Got the world's first mechanical automatic oscilloscope since this device is a mechanical transmission. So we can only test some low frequency signals in order to break through the limitation of signal frequency. In the early 1900s, British engineer William Gardel invented the cathode ray tube. Cathode ray tube, the electrical signal, transformed into optical image. Electron beam tube, the old TV picture tube we are familiar with. This is an electron beam tube. It is mainly composed of electron gun deflection coil, sheath, fluorescent screen, and display screen. In 1932, a British electronics company, based on this principle, developed the world's first cathode ray tube oscilloscope, widely used in World War II. Later, it is what we know. Analog oscilloscopes are emerging in an endless stream. At the same time, digital electronics, it also began to develop rapidly. Equipped with magic converter ADC and digital signal processors, DSP digital oscilloscope, Quietly born, waveforms no longer rely on real-time display. It is stored digitally. Engineers can freeze zoom at any time, even trace back signal details. Not only does it allow the capture of high-frequency signals, greatly improved accuracy, it also gave rise to automatic measurement. Revolutionary features. After reading this, do you want to set up one?